Now that you've primed your sprayer, you are ready to start spraying. Prior to setup, ensure that you are using non-flammable material. If you have the dual speed or variable speed models, always start on the lowest speed setting and work your way up. Pointing at a piece of scrap cardboard, pull the trigger to test the spray pattern. As you look at your pattern, you might need to adjust some things to get it dialed in. Practice makes perfect. This pattern is called tails. It's not a desired pattern and it usually happens when the pressure is set too low. If you have a model with a speed setting, you can turn the speed up. This could also be a sign of tip wear. Paint wears tips over time, so if adjusting the pressure doesn't help, it might be time to replace the tip. You'll want to try and stay about 12 inches from the surface. Do your best to look at this while spraying, but if you sway a few inches either way, you will still get a great finish. Always overlap each pass by approximately 50%. You can see these two finishes are too fast and too slow. Keep a steady pace that shows solid paint coverage. Again, overlap each pass by approximately 50%. This will give you the best finish. Depending on your project, you can rotate the spray tip to a vertical or horizontal position. Walls are generally best sprayed horizontally, while doors and other tall areas can be sprayed vertically. Ultimately, if you're getting good coverage and feeling comfortable, Spray the way you prefer.